Hello everybody, it is me here, your least favorite YouTuber, Red Gunner, and today, Tyler dropped. I'm very excited. Um, Chromacopia released today, and I am very excited to get into this record. I've actually al already listened to it through three times casually, and this is gonna be my first really intentive listen, and I'm very excited to get right into this, because it's a great album so far. Tyler has always been one of those artists that I've always really enjoyed, and I've always kind of followed his progress, specifically because I have Igor sitting right up here. And the snippets that we've heard from this album, including the one single being Noid, are all really good sounding tracks, which are I'm actually very happy with them and how they turned out on this album. I am very ready to get into this. I think that it's, I think it's gonna be a good album. I'm very, let's, let's just get right into this. Let's stop talking. Let's just, let's just get right into this. I have some things to say about it. Comparatively, and I'm gonna try not to compare it to Igor too much, I think it's a very good album. I actually really like it. My personal favorite is definitely Saint Chroma. I like how it builds kind of a really good atmosphere for the entire record going forward. It actually really sets the tone. I think that Tyler's rapping compared to other albums, which I don't really like his rapping in albums like Flower Boy, is actually really surprisingly good on this record and I wasn't in pain while listening to it or really disliking it. I actually quite enjoyed hearing him rap on this record. The production actually reminds me a lot of, instead of going as a specific album, reminds me of a specific song, that being New Magic Wand kind of sticks out with a lot of the songs like Ratata and kind of that part in Saint Chroma. It's like it's a recreation of that hit of New Magic Wand during Igor. The features were a mixed bag. I think that the song with Childish Gambino on it was absolutely crazy, whereas the song with Dochi is the worst song on this entire record, that being Balloons. I really did not like her verses on that on that song. It really brought it down so hard. It went from a decent track that was enjoyable enough to kind of a nightmare. The album shows kind of a matured vision of Tyler's relationship with his mother, which is an interesting theme idea and actually works really well as kind of similar to, for example, Igor or Kendrick Lamar's To Pimp a Butterfly, where they have those parts at the end or at the beginning where he's just talking. In this one, you can hear Tyler's mother and she's kind of that narrator character talking about kind of the themes of some of those songs, which is actually a really cool idea and is executed pretty damn well. I feel like the album's kind of theme and idea is pretty interesting. It's a little bland and more monotone and mo monochrome, whatever the word is. It's interesting, but it's kind of a beat that could either be really good for some people and then for others be kind of a lower point with this record is kind of the scheme or kind of the theme feeling a lot darker. The songs do convey kind of their ideas very well. I think that most of the tracks are able to get the point across fairly easily and fairly well to where it doesn't feel like it's dragging on or it is kind of doing too much, which is pretty well executed here on this record. For example, Darling I is about a love interest. Then the song, I think the one about Jane, about a girl that Tyler must have gotten pregnant, shows a pretty good level of maturity within this record is his lyricism within those songs and how he's able to convey these more grown ideas. Um, I just want to talk about the bad points on this album. The song Sticky was really annoying to listen to. I didn't really care at all for that one. I think it was pretty meh. As well as Balloons. Balloons is the worst song on this entire record and really had the potential to be great until Dochi came in and really shit on that entire song and really brought that song down very very heavily for me. I think that the album's closer is a slight bit forgettable. I feel like it's not really the level of, and I'm sorry for comparing it to Igor, it's not the same level of Are We Still Friends. It doesn't really carry that kind of end feeling to it as that song did and feels kind of unresolved for that ending which doesn't really help the record or really doesn't do much for any of it. However, the album, like I've said before with St. Chroma, 
opens up very well conveying the sound and the idea that the album is kind of going to follow. While it's getting conveyed through the first three, four songs, and kind of continues that theme and has that insanely well-made consistency. I think that Tyler did a really good job on this record. I think that it's a very good record and I think it's probably my top five to come out of this year so far. It's enjoyable, it's fun, the dud to banger ratio is pretty significant, more, more bangers than there are duds of course, and overall it just feels like a very complete package and I think that it's a very good record. So I think I'm going to be giving Chromacopia, the 2024 Tyler the Creator album, a solid 8 out of 10. I, I enjoyed this one a lot. I think that for 2024 we're getting kind of all these interesting albums to release this year and I think that Chromacopia was definitely the cherry on top. So yeah, that was my review of uh, Chromacopia by Tyler the Creator. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed my review, please subscribe. It helps me a ton to keep making these reviews. And I will see you guys all in my next review. Bye-bye.